Hey, what's up guys? I'm Zora Lightning, and today I will be taking this test at tonedear.com to see if I have perfect pitch, which I know I don't, but I figured I might as well do this just because I have relative pitch and I wanted to see just how good I am at determining which notes are which, and which chords are which, and which scales are which, and um, I expect to do better than the average person just because I am better with pitch than the average person, I believe, but I do not expect to do extremely well. Now, there are a few options for tests to take on this website, um, including intervals, chords, scales, chord progressions, perfect pitch, which is um, just one note and then another note. Um, and I have to determine what the note is. Scale degrees, and I do not know what that is asking, so I might just skip that. And um, same with intervals in context and melodic dictation. So I'm just going to do the uh, first five here. Um, and I'm going to start with perfect pitch just because that's a little bit simpler than the rest of them. And we're going to do all notes, and let's try 20 questions. I need to turn up my volume a bit. I believe that's F sharp, but I'm not... okay. So far I'm doing pretty good. Okay, 45% accuracy. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, some of them I could just straight up hear, yes, this is this note, especially towards the beginning you saw. 
but um, as it went on, the uh, notes began to like throw me off, and I have found that that will happen um, when I'm determining the key of a song. I will um, forget that it's... Uh, it, I think it'll sound like C, but it'll actually be C sharp, just... Uh, I guess because my brain like can't adjust to the new key or something? I don't know how that works. But I'm going to try out the intervals, and I think I might do a little bit better in this one. Again, I'm going to change it to all, with 20 questions. Okay, that sounded bad, so I think that was a... The little semitone counter on the right's really helping me. This is the kind of thing where if I remembered the last one, I'd be able to do a lot better. It's hard because I'm not used to seeing like these exactly. Like I, I wouldn't call um, three semitones a minor third. I although I guess that is what it is. That one sounded like C-sharp, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I expected to do better on that one, too. Um, yeah, there were... yeah. This one's easy, because I can just tell it's like one semitone. Um, but like, you could kind of see the higher it got, except for octaves, because they sound uh, basically the same. Um, 
Yeah, so basically the more- the farther apart it got, the harder it was. So I guess I'm going to try chords now. And I don't know what um, any of this is, so I guess I'm just going to do triads. And I don't know what inversions are. Yeah, I really don't know this stuff. I am not very knowledgeable in music theory, in case you couldn't tell. And I do not know what augmented or diminished are, either. So... Yeah, at this point I'm just randomly guessing. I guess I should stop guessing diminished since so few of them are correct. I expected to do slightly better than that. Let's try chord progressions now, or scales. Let's do scales first. I'm hoping I'll do a little bit better on this one. Yeah, I know this stuff a little bit better. I don't I don't really know what um I don't know what Dorian, Phrygian, Mixolydian, or Locrian are though. So I'm probably gonna struggle a bit with those. Yeah, there we go.
I know that um, Lydian and Mixolydian are similar to major scales, and I know the rest of them are similar to minors. So that's helping me out a little bit, but not much. Was also forty five percent. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got uh, all the major ones right. Cause I um I took uh, piano lessons for five years, and one thing I definitely know is major scales. Um, so I guess I'm doing po chord progressions next, and this will be the last one because I don't know what the other three are like. Simple triads. Oh. Yeah, I don't I don't know what all these chords are. Like I know practically nothing about chords. So, let's uh let's try this. Okay, so if, um, if chord one is always I, first two are the same, and the second two are the same, do I just pick one? I don't know what the difference between these four and five are, but, um, I can just hear like the order they're going in and how they should progress. That was a misclick. These sound really good. I'd like to hear them in context, but I probably wouldn't be able to pick them out at all.
Yeah, so, so far what this has taught me is that I do not know music theory, but my pitch is decent, which, um, I kind of already knew that before. But, uh, anyway, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can see more content like this. Um, and including more content like I normally do, aka mashups. But anyway, be sure to like and subscribe so you can see me next time in a video.